Okay, so we're ready to move on. Now what we're gonna do is, just for the uh, simplicity's sake, um, we're gonna take it offline for the actual part that we're actually solder on these uh, wires. According to the uh, document, the assembly guide, they give you two options, to solder or to use the uh, included crimps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and solder simply because when we were playing around with the crimps, we saw that the uh, that they wouldn't fit on nicely and they would come off pretty easily. Um, so we, we feel that soldering would be the best bet. So you know you'll eventually see us when you have when we're ready to wire this all up with wires soldered to either motor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna skip on to step three, which is building the tracks. So we have a lot of plastic components and uh, in fact, when I first heard about doing this kit, I thought, uh, oh no, tracks again. The uh, reason why I say that is because every time we've worked with tracks or any type of track um, robot, it takes us hours to build the, 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 the tank uh, treads, and uh, we wind up with very sore fingers. But what we found here is that these are all uh, pieced together nicely, and they just kind of snap together and it's a nice rubbery uh, type track so that means it should give us good grip unlike some of the other kits that we've had like the uh, robotics connection trackster which slips around a lot on tile this doesn't look like it's going to slip around on us too much okay so that's all that's inside the actual Tamiya box so we have these components here a bunch of axles some screws a bunch of uh, wheels and whatnot and the treads so, let's start off with looking at the instructions. So, sorry, looking at it, it's already one page. Looks very simple, to tell you the truth. Uh, let's see what they have here. Okay, let's make sure we're not missing anything. I'm just going to backtrack here. So in the document, or actually in the in the uh, guide here, it shows that we're going to be putting together the actual uh, components on this board, which is why you see me go quiet for a little bit. But we don't have that board. However, it looks like what we'll do in exchange for that board is we'll probably be mounting them to these silver plates here. Let me just kind of look at some of the images to make sure. Okay, so reading further, basically just says follow the instructions included with the Tamiya track and wheel set to assemble the two equal lengths of track using all of the rubber track links. So, let's do that portion.
Donc, euh, So what I'm doing is constructing one. Looks like it's only about one of these halves here and one of these here. So what we're going to do is looks like we can use different combinations and different sizes. I'm not really sure what size we're going to need. So I'm not sure I want to construct it just now. However, it does say use all of them. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what it says here. So how does this plug in? Okay. So there's a male and a female. Okay, I'm beginning to see how this works. There's a male end and a female end, so I'm not sure if you can see that here. And they're different, and they, those are the ones that are going to piece together. So let's see here. How easy do these piece together? Hmm. So we gotta shove these through somehow. But I'm not really sure how. Sure enough, yep, that's how it's gonna go. We have to uh Very easy to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> 